By now, it's no secret Skidoo has in fact expanded their lineup of ultra clean and efficient direct injected two stroke engines to include this 800R model here. Now this sled was highly anticipated and so far hasn't let us down one bit. And while we're sure you've had at least some explanation of what E-Tech is and how it works, it's not something you can just glance at and immediately understand. Which is why we'd like to take a moment to look a little closer at Skidoo's E-Tech system to see if we can gain a little better understanding of its operation. We'll also take a look at some of the inherent benefits of E-Tech and find out why they're important, not only to those of you who own one, but also to anyone who loves two-stroke engines. For starters, let's get this part of the explanation out of the way. Direct injection is a term that does not apply only to Skidoo's E-Tech system. Direct injection can be any system that directly injects the fuel charge into the cylinder head after the exhaust port is closed. In a typical two-stroke engine, either carbureted or EFI, the fuel charge is forced into the cylinder head from the crankcase or transfer ports by positive pressure created under the piston as it moves downward after ignition. The two biggest problems with this fuel delivery method are that the fuel charge isn't completely atomized when it reaches the cylinder, which means it doesn't burn as hot or as clean as it should. This means you use more fuel, your engine doesn't run as smooth, and you produce more negative emissions than if that fuel charge was completely atomized. The other problem is that because the fuel charge is being forced into the cylinder through the intake port while the piston is moving downward, the exhaust port on the opposite side of the cylinder is still open. Before the piston moves back upwards far enough to close the exhaust port, a small amount of the fuel mixture will always pass through to the exhaust. Again, this means the engine needs to use more fuel, will run less smoothly, and will produce more negative emissions than if the exhaust port were closed when the fuel charge was introduced into the cylinder. The roadblock to solving this problem is both simple and complex. If you wait to inject the fuel charge until the piston has risen high enough to close the exhaust port, the cylinder head will already be holding so much pressure that only an ultra high pressure fuel delivery system could ever have a hope of driving the fuel in. There's also only the last 15 degrees of crank rotation for the fuel to be injected, which is such a minute amount of time at 8,000 RPM, it almost seems impossible. Now here's where we get into how E-Tech works and why it's so efficient. Instead of pressurizing the fuel to the required PSI, the engineers at BRP use a ram to essentially hammer the fuel through an injector. The perfectly measured fuel charge waits in a small cylinder of its own, and at the exact moment of delivery, a piston is driven down upon it, forcing it through the injector at the necessary PSI in only a fraction of a second. This ram system, or voice coil injector, operates much like the driver, or voice coil, of a home stereo speaker. The ram is actuated by electromagnetic force in both directions. A CPU under the hood runs at 50 amps and controls the signal operating the RAM. Because the CPU is under such extreme load, it generates large amounts of heat. BRP solved this problem by cooling the CPU with fuel on its way to the injectors. The benefit here is that unlike other throttle body EFI or semi-direct injection systems that only control how much fuel is injected, E-Tech controls exactly when the fuel is injected. And, because it's injected at such a high PSI, the fuel charge is completely atomized. So what does this mean for the performance of the sled? Simply put, the engine can operate more efficiently and way, way more precisely than ever before. Less fuel is being used at all RPM levels, and oil consumption is at an all-time low. Furthermore, the hotter, more complete burn of the atomized fuel charge means less smoke and smell, and because the fuel is being injected into the cylinder after the exhaust port is closed, no unburnt fuel can escape into the exhaust, which means lower emissions than any other two-stroke in history. Idle is cleaner, idle RPM is lower, and starting consistency is perfect. Because the system is electronically controlled, throttle pull is also greatly reduced compared to the old Series 2 600 and Powertech 800 engines. So, from an environmental and a cost of operation standpoint, E-Tech is clearly the best thing since sliced bread. But what I think is most impressive about both the 800 and 600 versions of this engine is that they produce more horsepower than the 600 or 800 versions that aren't as efficient. Basically, both the 600 and 800 E-Tech engines are faster, more responsive, and have more torque than their non-E-Tech predecessors. In the case of the 800, E-Tech has helped produce one of the most impressive 800cc engines we've ever ridden. At the end of the day, you can pick whatever argument you like for upgrading to an E-Tech powered sled. Reduced fuel and oil consumption, 
reduced emissions, or higher performance, it doesn't really matter. With eTech, they all come as a package deal.